you can get pretty close washing that metal off and it saves on the grinding time. In repairs or mechanicing, you may run into nuts and bolts that are rusted on so hard that you have to cut them off. On a bolt head, don't go for the whole thing at one time. Start at the top and slice it off. When you get to the bottom, ease off the cutting jet and wash it off, taking care not to gouge into the base metal on the back side of the cut. Small nuts that are rusted on can be cut off the same way. The whole thing will get hot enough to slice through both the nut and the bolt. On larger nuts, you won't be able to get all the way through. An easy way to get this off is to cut right alongside the bolt. Jump to the other side and do the same. Then use a hammer to knock the pieces off. Now some of the bigger bolts are expensive or you may not have another one available. So you can cut the nut off and leave the threads to reuse the bolt. It works about the same way as cutting the nut off. Only make the first cut away from the bolt a little then wash it off. As soon as the threads pop through, you have to quit or you'll nick the threads. I guarantee that when you do that for somebody, you'll fool them into thinking you know what you're doing with a cutting torch. Now, we've been washing metal off with a regular cutting tip. This is a scarfing tip. The tip is angled so the oxygen cutting jet is parallel to the metal. This helps to keep from gouging into the metal on the back side. The cutting orifice is also larger to slow down and spread out the cutting jet. This tip can be used to remove weld from a joint where both pieces are going to be saved and to gouge out a bevel while making repairs. Well, that's about it. I hope I've given you some ideas on how to handle a torch. You really won't know it though until you do it and see it for yourself at the end of your own cutting torch. Remember, keep your tip clean, get comfortable before you start, and concentrate on the cut while it's happening. Know where your sparks are going and look up occasionally to check for fire. There's one more thing we need to do yet. When you're finished, like rolling up at the end of the day, you want to bleed the pressure off the system. Close both bottle valves. And starting with the acetylene, open the main torch valve. When all the pressure bleeds off, screw the regulator adjuster out so the next time the bottles are open, the internal diaphragms don't get hammered and there's not a lot of friction inside the regulator from the surge of gas. Close the torch valve and bleed the oxygen the same way. And you're finished. Have fun with this, and above all else, keep safety first.